Hi, uh, my name is Arden Rose and I'm here at Zebra Art Collective Studio. Um, we are an art collective that we started up in um, mid-2015. Uh, we have about 22 members right now. And uh, so this is our actual studio space and it's um, obviously studio space. It's very messy and dirty and there's lots of paint all over the place, including the floor. Um, but we are having our annual Zebra Art Collective Studio show and sale. It's on May the 6th at um, this location, which is at uh, 600 Richardson, uh, which is on the corner of Richmond and Richardson and St. Matthias Church. So that's from 12 until 5 p.m. on May the 6th. Um, so yeah, so this is, you know, generally people paint here on and off, um, you know, different people come on different days. Um, and this is just sort of part of the crowd that is generally here on Wednesdays. So this is what I'm working on. Um, this is actually, uh, painted over from about, there's about four other paintings underneath that. Um, so I'm just trying to actually get something that'll end up like you. So I've been working on florals lately. What type of paint do you use? Um, this is acrylic paints. And so I, I generally like using acrylic paints and some collage. Um, I often start with uh, doing some uh, kind of texture using molding paste or glass bead kind of paste, different kinds of molding paste um, underneath to give it a lot of texture and depth. Um, and then, you know, I'll start painting and there's a lot of layers in, of paint um, in typically any of the paintings that any of us do. And, um, and then, you know, I might add some collage, some, you know, some papers for something. Like in that one over there, I did, um, it's just paper napkins that I used for, the tablecloth for underneath the uh, vase. Um, and then this is more just the paper napkins. So, um, you know, using things like that, you can get, you know, a number of different effects with the, with the paints. Hi there, I am Virginia, and I am one of the Zebra Art Studio members. And uh, one of my passions is painting uh, with acrylic uh, paint on canvas and starting to learn to get more comfortable getting with on bigger canvases, which is, for me, an uh, act of courage um, because there's a lot of paint and a lot of space to cover. And uh, so I really am trying to learn to be free. And I think that's the, that's the part that is so tricky, is to have an idea in your mind and not really know where you're going. It's very intuitive. And uh, working with the color, I often ask my, my zebra mates to uh, give me their advice on um, what colors are missing or what the composition, what lines, maybe I need some more lines or shapes in the, in the painting. And that what is so lovely about being part of this group is that we do support each other, we encourage each other, we don't um, allow too much negative uh, babbling about how our paintings are or aren't progressing. So it's really, it's really a joy to be part of this process and let the paintings just happen and evolve. So how are you working okay. I'm working on uh, one of one of the uh, instructors that has a YouTube video is uh, teaches us how to actually really let go and so it's um, learning how to do trees with lots of dripping lots of wet lots of paint and layer upon layer upon layer and some of the trees this is Bob Burridge some of the trees that he paints have 10 and 20 layers of paint on them before they're finished and what it is is then going in and defining defining the different areas, the trees, the tree line, the sky, and really making the color pop. So again, it's sort of an abstract rendition of trees. It's my own version, but it's very much guided by this wonderful teacher who's out there, available to anyone. <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Susan, and I'm also a member of the Zebra Art Collective. And what I'm working on right now is I'm actually going back to some representational art or semi-representational art. I had been working on a lot of abstracts, like a lot of other people in the group, but um, I had some old paintings, some old canvases, and they were m less impressionistic than this one is now, um, but I had an underpainting, and I was really wanting to do something like more impressionistic, more group of seven. I was looking at Tom Thompson and his skies and his landscapes, and um, I haven't done a lot with thicker paint, and what I'm trying to do here is mimic the effects of oils with acrylic paints, which is kind of challenging, especially they don't have the same blending qualities. But I've mixed in a heavy medium 
with them, so I'm trying to layer on thicker paint. Um, so it's always a bit of a push-pull, both with abstract and representational, in terms of how loose you are and then how you tighten up later on. So I had a fairly flat canvas before, and I had sketched in blocks of color. And it was um, much more blended than it is now. It was more realistic than it is now. And it wasn't what I wanted, and I thought I just went in with big globs of paint. And I went all over the canvas. I mixed a whole bunch of paints on my canvas. And then I just went in kind of randomly looking at what was underneath. And I, I had originally started working from a photo. But eventually, um, one of my teaching instructor, my painting instructors, Alison Watt, basically said after working from a photo, you put it away and then you say, basically, you serve the painting. So you're not doing representational art. So I haven't been looking at the photo since I did the underpainting. Now it's just looking at color. And the risk I'm trying to take here is using just thick, more impressionistic globs of paints and not necessarily caring that it actually looks exactly like, like the photo. Um, and there's another painting that's mid-stage over here that I'm doing the same thing. Um, and all of, both, all of my paintings are multiple layers of paintings. Um, sometimes they start off more realistic or sometimes they start very loose and then I have to add structure, but I always find it going back and forth between structure and uh, more of an impressionistic style or more of an abstract style. Hi, my name is Christine Harker, member of the Zebra Art Collective. Um, what I don't think was mentioned earlier was that we all came together as a result of a, an instructor, an artist in Victoria named Michelle Miller, who used to teach us here um, for quite a few years she had this studio. And when she decided not to, um, to um, teach anymore, we got together and, and uh, put this all together. She was an abstract um, artist, and so we all sort of started off with abstract, and, and actually not representational abstract, but pure simple abstract, which this is at the beginning of. And um, I've drawn some shapes in here, and I'm just layering the colors as I'm going along. I don't know quite what it's going to turn out like, but I know this is going to be gone. This color is not quite what I, I'm at, uh, trying to achieve. I like to work with uh, acrylic as well, and um, um, certainly enjoy the feedback of uh, my fellow uh, zebra, uh, zebrites. And <laughs> so um, yeah, that's uh, that's basically my thing. Oh, my name my name is Megan Hill. I'm part of the zebra art group, and um, like many of the people here, I've been coming here for a couple of years and started with Michelle Miller, who was awesome and a great inspiration. And um, yeah, I like working in acrylics because. Um, when acrylics dry, you can paint over it again. Start from scratch. Um, so I end up doing that a lot. And the best part for me is just learning how to let go because it never turns out the way you think it's going to turn out at the beginning. And that used to be really frustrating for me because I'm sort of a right-sided um, brain person. And so just letting it be, end up being whatever it ends up being is um, feels really good at the end. And it's a good practice for me to do on a regular basis. So yeah, I tend to like landscapes because in an abstract way, it's very forgiving. Um, but I'm, I'm open to try anything and I tend to try to copy my colleagues and get ideas from them. And it, it, it always turns out something different and that's, that's always the great part. And uh, the group is, is uh, very supportive and they're always constructive and honest, and, but positive at the same time. So yeah, it's just, it's a great way to spend uh, Wednesday evenings doing something different. Why are you working on this? Um, well, I'm working on something that um, I was trying to do uh, florals, and those never work for me, so I immediately went back to trying an abstract landscape. And uh, I'll just see what happens. It might uh, be four things before it ends up being whatever it ends up being. So, yeah. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you.